Hey guys. Hey, welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday, quarantine edition. <laughs> Want to check in with all you guys, see how you're doing, see how life is. I mean, obviously life is weird. Um, let's see how you're doing otherwise. <clears throat> Today, um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about homeschooling because I actually just posted some stuff about homeschooling, but I'll answer any questions you guys have about you know, schooling kids at home or anything else you guys want to talk about in terms of this weird quarantine time. Hanging in there, Nina? Good. Yeah, Shirley, you doing okay? <laughs> life is exactly the same. You have no life. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. You know, it's, it's weird. It's, it's strange, but I mean, it's, there's a lot of family time. And so that's great. You know, trying to focus on the positive. Over here on face Facebook seems to be having trouble. Yeah. Hello, Lisa from Winnipeg. There we go. Hey, Kara. Hey, Draco. Yeah. I'm live right now, sweetie pie. So can you keep it down? Oh, um. Thank you, sweetie. So tell me where you guys are watching from before we get into the homeschooling stuff. And it's just advice. I've just got some tips, some things I've learned along the way. I've been homeschooling Draco since he was nine years old. I mean, he's nine. I've been homeschooling him all his life. So. You've homeschooled your daughter also? That's cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, I love it, but I know that it's, um, it's challenging. So it can be challenging, and especially if you're thrown into it suddenly and you're not used to it and your life isn't set up for it. I'm not taking calls in. Uh, so anyway, oh, hi, yes. Arizona, we got Indiana, Ontario, Canada, Naples, Florida, San Bernardino, California, Monterey, Mexico, Brazil, hello to all of Brazil, yes. Kentucky, New Jersey, Australia. Hey guys. Um, well, a lot of parents are taking a more active role with their kids and um, some schools aren't actually holding real classes. Um, what's been happening to, for some of the schools in LA anyway, is um, some of the schools are saying, well, it's not fair because not all of the students have access to uh, Wi-Fi and a computer, even though they're trying to distribute them. They're saying it's not fair, and so they'll do check-ins. The teachers will do check-ins, uh, but not actually schooling. So parents, a lot of parents are taking it into their own ha hands and saying, well, I want my kid to still get edu an education. Uh, it's really tough. Everyone's struggling. Everyone's trying to figure it out. Hopefully this will all just be over soon-ish. But I don't know. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if school will go back into session before uh, before September. This is so weird, right? This whole thing is so weird. Stress is starting to get to you. Anxiety, I've actually, myself, had some, I'm better like, this week and last week, but the week before that, I was like, I feel my heart just like racing. And I'm like, whoa, okay, you know what? <sighs> take a breath, <laughs> just take a breath. We got this. Um, yeah, I mean, I know Easter Easter won't be the same. We're gonna do something in our very small backyard. I mean, you can even do Easter egg hunts inside. Uh, we got to keep Easter going as best we can. But yeah, we usually we usually get together with lots of family, <laughs> um, like from all over the state. We do sanitize our groceries. Yeah, we do actually. We uh, we've got some some wipes, although we ran out of the Lysol wipes, we had some rubbing alcohol. So we had these other wipes that aren't, they have no alcohol in them. It's like some natural thing that doesn't really necessarily kill uh, Corona. So we we poured some alcohol into that container and then shook it up so that there'd be alcohol, um, not like the alcohol you drink, but rubbing alcohol. Uh, I'm not always this positive. I, I'm up and down, guys. You wipe down your groceries. Yes, we wipe them and then Okay, Draco's really been wanting oranges lately, and I figure, okay, he wants vitamin C, that's a good thing. So we've been getting all these oranges and tangerines, and I literally put them in the kitchen sink and wash them with soap and water like I'd be washing my hands. I read that you're supposed to do that and then, and then wash them off. It's so much extra work, and we don't have any help at the house anymore. We, we are paying them, but we said stay home, be safe. Um, and so it's all the laundry and the dishes and running a house. I mean, it's running a house, and it's <laughs> this past weekend, I was like, okay, we have to dust everything. And I, 
I, we just, I mean, every, I had my son doing the baseboards cause he's got these little fingers and we're all just take, tackling the house and it's, it's, do not wash fruit with soap. Well, oranges you can wash with soap, right? I think, cause you don't, you don't eat that part. I don't know. Anyway, you had a panic attack last night, huh? Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, so my favorite way to escape, you know, just playing with my son. We just play and it's great. Uh, but quickly, um, oh, first of all, how many of you guys are wanting tips for homeschooling your kids? Like, is that something that you're thinking about and wanting? Um, you love my shout outs, Matt? Awesome. Thank you. You do the same thing, Jennifer? Yeah, Larry, you've been feeling really, really depressed. I feel depressed. I, I don't want to say depressed because I know there's a clinical definition of that and I don't want to ever take away from people who actually suffer from clinical depression. But I've been feeling down. Like, I go through these, like, phases where I just, I'm just like, what's going on? Like, I just, you know, because it's not familiar. So we're struggling to define it. And you like some tips on that? Yes, Ivan, Karen? You want some tips? Okay. Times Machine shows delayed from Amazon. Oh, well, Times Machine, that's a pre-order. Times Machine doesn't come out until June 30th. <clears> the <throat> 5G, Shane, are you talking about 5G network, like the extra radiation that's supposed to be making this worse? I heard about this, like, I read about it back in January. You've been very anxious. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, host. Okay, so here's, so, okay, first of all, on my Instagram, and actually even on my Twitter, I posted some of it, but on my Instagram right now, um, on the stories, and then also, they might be expired, I'm not sure, but on the highlights, do you guys know what the highlights are on Instagram? So if you go to my profile, and you click the, my face, the circle, then, uh, wait, no, that's the, how you get the stories. The highlights are like a little bar. So if you go to my profile, it has my circle, my face, it has like a little, my little bio, and then all my posts underneath it. Well, between the bio and the posts, there is a strip of, of saved Insta stories, and you can click on that and get um, the, the very first one says uh, homeschooling tips. So you click on that and you can see all these tips explained again. But one of the tips that I, the one that I started off with is this idea of timing. So let's say that you're going to homeschool for two hours. Let's say you're having to take it into your own hands for whatever reason. I will, um, I'll set the timer for two hours with Draco. He's nine. So you can also, of course, set it for longer if your kid's older. But you, um, I say, okay, we're going to do two hours of homeschooling. That's two good hours. So if you get distracted or start talking about something else, I'll hit pause. And that two hours can take a long time if they're not focusing. But then when they notice that, then it helps them to focus. That's just a trick that I've used that I that I, has been so helpful. So I shared that one. And I answered some other questions as well. And if you guys have any questions about homeschooling, go to my Instagram and my today's post. I open it up for questions, so send me questions there, and I'll do my best to um, answer them soon. Oh, what is the trick to get Amazon Fresh delivery window to open? I'd love to know that. I need to be checking more often. I, oh, it's, it's just really, it's crazy. Oh, somebody was just giving a good tip over here about how to relax. Um, Have I done geocaching? No, but I keep hearing about geocaching. Well, right now I don't think you can do that because a lot of the trails are closed. But So that's one of the homeschooling tips that I have. Um, other people ask me things about how to make math fun, et cetera. Um, that's my mom. She doesn't know that I'm online. She usually she's in these scopes. <laughs> Jacob's birthday is in September, so I don't know if it's, I, I hope that we're not in lockdown anymore. You're cleaning space. Yeah, so what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing for, like, to stay sane? I'd love to just, you see, 5G is the, it's the response to the 5G. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've heard people talk about 5G networks. It's, like, lowering our immunity and that I guess it's really strong in Wuhan and I, I don't know. I don't know. There's so much information and misinformation out there. But I do know that EMS are not that good for you. And I, you know, you don't put your cell phone to your head. You keep it away. And, you know, there's stuff you can do. <clears throat> you didn't start out the same, so you're fine. You meditate every day. You know what's been working for me really well is yoga. Yoga. It's like, 
oh, just makes me feel normal and makes my body feel good. And I've been meditating too. My mom, hang on, can I? No, I can't. She doesn't know I'm on right now. You're you're working. So you guys have essential, some of you guys have um, essential jobs, essential services. Were you watching great shows? <laughs> yes, my mom does a great scope on meditation. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, yoga's great. I actually have a yoga DVD, believe it or not, that I did 15 years ago. It's 2000, well, we shot it, no, no, 2007. Okay, not quite, 13 years ago. It's called Daily Dose of Dharma. You can go to dailydoseofdharma.com if you want to check it out. There's yoga all over. You've been watching a lot of TikToks? I've been, I just, I joined TikTok a few weeks before this whole thing happened. Thank you for being an essential worker. Thank you for keeping us going. To all of you guys, anyone who's watching who's an essential worker, thank you for keeping this country running, this world running. And you know, so what are you guys watching, by the way? Oh, Hallmark Channel. <laughs> okay, the boys a few days off to chill. Sounds like it. Mel Brooks movie. <laughs> Office reruns. That's what my husband and I have been watching is Office reruns. We tried Tiger King. We just could not. I just, it was not going to happen. I just wasn't. And I almost... Couldn't stop watching it. And I was like, let's just try something else. And then once I was off it, I was like, I'm not going back to Tiger King. But while I was watching it, I had a hard time not watching it, if that makes sense. And then once I turned it off, then I was like, oh, good. <laughs> right? It's so weird. You know what else I couldn't get into is, um, um, what's it called? Is it? Shit's Creek or something. Anyway, I was trying to watch it and like we watched many episodes actually and we were like, you know what? This isn't as funny as The Office. We with the we're in the office. We're just watching the office. Just from the beginning to the end. We just love it. Game of Thrones. Hi mom. They all know that you were trying to reach me. I was like, oh my mom's calling. Wait, no, oh, she texted. And I didn't I didn't catch the first text, but the second text I was able to grab before it disappeared. I didn't know how to those arcs. Oh, Kirk Boyd says, hi, mom. Watching Camp Cucamonga, seriously? The main character in Ozark is good with math. That's funny. Spanish, please. Oh, gosh. Um, I haven't, I haven't done Spanish in a while. It's funny because I was just speaking French earlier today just to be funny with Draco, and that's all I can think of right now. Grace and Frankie, yes. If you tell me some Spanish to say, as long as it's really easy Spanish and there's nothing bad, I'll try to say it. Yes, appreciate the teachers too. The teachers are struggling right now. My goodness. This is us. See, I've heard that's like sad. I, I can't, I can't do anything sad. I can't do anything like, I need just happy, happy, like Hallmark and comedies, The Office. Because otherwise, things, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, it feels heavy right now. Chicken bone broth, you can bring it over, my mom says. Cool. I mean, but don't come over, Mom. Okay, we're gonna have to talk about that later. Um, Hola, que tal? The Spanish, you guys give me Spanish to talk, to say. Crown for Christmas, aw. So my, okay, so my new Hallmark movie that comes out, uh, was Hallmark Channel, uh, comes out April 25th. It's the second Matchmaker Mysteries movie. We were supposed to, we were supposed to be shooting the third Matchmaker Mysteries movie right now, but obviously we're not. But yeah, it's um, Matchmaker Mysteries, uh, um, A Fatal Romance. That's what it's called. It used to be called The Poison Pen. Now it's called A Fatal Romance. Oh, wow. I see you here in the UK. Oh my goodness. Lisa, thank you so much for what you're doing. Hallmark Christmas movies. I think they're now showing Christmas movies on Hallmark on Fridays. They did two weekends where it was all weekend, and I think now it's just going to be Fridays, I think. 
Je parle un peu de français, oui. I took French in high school. Firefly, yeah. I Love Lucy. Andy Griffith. Classics. Amazing. Oh, thank you, Jan. Well, Victor and I love making these. I was not done. We were not done with post-production on Matchmaker 2. In fact, I had to do the ADR um, a few days ago from my son's bedroom. I got this, like, microphone for it. Got a microphone, hooked up to my laptop. I ordered this online. I couldn't believe I got it in, like, a week. And this is my, my pop stand for, like, so that your P is... When you say, like, a P sound, it um, can make the microphone blow out a little bit. So this is my pop stand, pop screen. And I'm just like hold it between my mouth and the, it's very ad hoc, but it worked. So I got my ADR lines done. Yeah, I posted about that. I think that's on my Instagram feed actually. I'm actually, it's about time for me to go um, get dinner ready. So I'm glad we could check in. Again, if you're looking for homeschooling tips, go to my Instagram and they're on my highlights reel. It says uh, homeschool tips. And the first installment is there. I'm going to be doing more this Thursday for um, on Random House's website. And then again, I will, then not their website, but their social media. And then I'll again post it on mine a little bit later. That's for dinner. Um, chicken breast and steamed vegetables and brown rice. And then I have some like pasta sauce to make it yummy if people want it or whatever. We go healthy here. You homeschool your daughter? Oh yeah, I was almost mentioned this. Thank you for reminding me. So yes, Josh Saviano and I are gonna go live again this Wednesday. So two days from now, I believe at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, we are gonna go live and just reminisce and answer your guys' questions about the Wonder Years again. It went so well last time. It was so much fun and you guys seem to really love it. And you know, we'll probably do a half hour again. And and uh, yeah, he played, he played uh, Paul Pfeiffer. He played the best friend and he and I stay in touch quite a bit. So, yeah, so I hope to see you guys Wednesday. How do I balance everything? I don't know. I just do my best. <laughs> you know, I um, I really love interacting with you guys. I really love, I believe in staying connected and um, need to get my sister in on that. Oh, that's, funny. that's a fun idea. She's not, I don't think she's on Instagram. She's also very busy with two little ones and uh, business. What time Wednesday? Uh, it'll be on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, and Periscope. For, well, for me, if you want to see me and Josh, you'll have to do, you'll just have to do Instagram. But I'll be broadcasting it to, so you'll hear, you'll see me and you'll hear Josh. Uh, you'll see and hear me and, and hear, just hear Josh if you're on Periscope or Facebook. But if you're on Instagram, then you'll be able to see him. It'll be a split screen. All right, guys. Well, the ABC is probably not going to bring back the Wonder Years. I think they sold it to someone. I don't know. I don't keep track of all that stuff. Um, appreciate all you guys so much. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay home. Unless you're an essential worker. And if you are an essential worker, then thank you for your service, keeping this country and this world running. If you're not an essential worker, please stay home. Just stay home. Don't think about it. Don't think about it too hard. Don't say, but how long do I have to stay home? Just stay home. Just stay home. That's what we're doing. Yeah. One, yeah, Wonder Years Wednesday. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. Much love to you all. Thank you so much. And thank you for your shares and your follows. And um, yes, let's flatten the curve. All right. Mwah. Bye.